Gallium is a chemical element with symbol Ga and atomic number 31. It is in group 13 of the periodic table, and thus has similarities to the other metals of the group, aluminium, indium, and thallium. Gallium does not occur as a free element in nature, but as gallium compounds in trace amounts in zinc ores and in bauxite. Elemental gallium is a soft, silvery blue metal at standard temperature and pressure, a brittle solid at low temperatures, and a liquid at temperatures greater than 29.76 degrees Celsius .57 degrees Fahrenheit above room temperature, but below the normal human body temperature of 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit .0 degrees Celsius, hence, the metal will melt in a person's hands. The melting point of gallium is used as a temperature reference point. Gallium alloys are used in thermometers as a non-toxic and environmentally friendly alternative to mercury, and can withstand higher temperatures than mercury. The alloy gallinstan gallium, indium, and tin has an even lower melting point of minus 19 degrees Celsius minus 2 degrees Fahrenheit, well below the freezing point of water. Since its discovery in 1875, gallium has been used to make alloys with low melting points. It is also used in semiconductors as a dopant in semiconductor substrates. Gallium is predominantly used in electronics. Gallium arsenide, the primary chemical compound of gallium in electronics, is used in microwave circuits, high-speed switching circuits, and infrared circuits. Semiconducting gallium nitride and indium gallium nitride produce blue and violet light emitting diodes LEDs, and diode lasers. Gallium is also used in the production of artificial gadolinium gallium garnet for jewelry. Gallium has no known natural role in biology. Gallium behaves in a similar manner to ferric salts in biological systems and has been used in some medical applications, including pharmaceuticals and radiopharmaceuticals. Physical properties Elemental gallium is not found in nature, but it is easily obtained by smelting. Very pure gallium metal has a silvery color and its solid metal fractures conchoidally like glass. Gallium liquid expands by 3.10% when it solidifies, therefore, it should not be stored in glass or metal containers because the container may rupture when the gallium changes state. Gallium shares the higher density liquid state with a short list of other materials that includes water, silicon, germanium, antimony, bismuth, and plutonium. Gallium attacks most other metals by diffusing into the metal lattice. For example, it diffuses into the grain boundaries of aluminium zinc alloys and steel, making them very brittle. Gallium easily alloys with many metals, and is used in small quantities in the plutonium gallium alloy in the plutonium cores of nuclear bombs to stabilize the plutonium crystal structure. The melting point of gallium, at 302.9146 K, is just above room temperature, and is approximately the same as the average summer daytime temperatures in Earth's mid latitudes. This melting point MP is one of the formal temperature reference points in the International Temperature Scale of 1990 it's 90 established by the International Bureau of Weights and Measures BIPM. The triple point of gallium, 302.9166 K degrees Celsius, degrees Fahrenheit, is used by the U.S. National Institute of Standards and Technology in preference to the melting point. The melting point of gallium allows it to melt in the human hand, and then refreeze if removed. The liquid metal has a strong tendency to supercool below its melting point, freezing point. Ga nanoparticles can be kept in the liquid state below 90 K. Seeding with a crystal helps to initiate freezing. Gallium is one of the four non-radioactive metals with cesium, rubidium, and mercury that are known to be liquid at or near normal room temperature. Of the four, gallium is the only one that is neither highly reactive rubidium and cesium nor highly toxic mercury and can therefore be used in metal in glass high temperature thermometers. It is also notable for having one of the largest liquid ranges for a metal, and for having unlike mercury, a low vapor pressure at high temperatures. Gallium's boiling point, 2,673 K, is more than eight times higher than its melting point on the absolute scale, the greatest ratio between melting point and boiling point of any element. 
Unlike mercury, liquid gallium metal wets glass and skin, along with most other materials with the exceptions of quartz, graphite, and teflon, making it mechanically more difficult to handle even though it is substantially less toxic and requires far fewer precautions. Gallium painted onto glass is a brilliant mirror. For this reason as well as the metal contamination and freezing expansion problems, samples of gallium metal are usually supplied in polyethylene packets within other containers. Gallium does not crystallize in any of the simple crystal structures. The stable phase under normal conditions is orthorhombic with eight atoms in the conventional unit cell. Within a unit cell, each atom has only one nearest neighbor at a distance of 244 pm. The remaining six unit cell neighbors are spaced 27, 30 and 39 pm farther away, and they are grouped in pairs with the same distance. Many stable and metastable phases are found as function of temperature and pressure. The bonding between the two nearest neighbors is covalent, hence Ga2 dimers are seen as the fundamental building blocks of the crystal. This explains the low melting point relative to the neighbor elements, aluminium and indium. This structure is strikingly similar to that of iodine and forms because of interactions between the single 4p electrons of gallium atoms, further away from the nucleus than the 4s electrons and the R3d10 core. This phenomenon recurs with mercury with its pseudo-noble gas, Z4F145D106's two-electron configuration, which is liquid at room temperature. The 3d10 electrons do not shield the outer electrons very well from the nucleus and hence the first ionization energy of gallium is greater than that of aluminium. The physical properties of gallium are highly anisotropic, i.e. have different values along the three major crystallographical axes A, B, and C, C table, producing a significant difference between the linear alpha and volume thermal expansion coefficients. The properties of gallium are strongly temperature dependent, particularly near the melting point. For example, the coefficient of thermal expansion increases by several hundred percent upon melting. Isotopes Gallium has 31 known isotopes, ranging in mass number from 56 to 86. Only two isotopes are stable and occur naturally, gallium-69 and gallium-71. Gallium-69 is more abundant, it makes up about 60.1% of natural gallium, while gallium-71 makes up the remaining 39.9%. All the other isotopes are radioactive. The two longest lived and only commercially important ones are gallium-67 half-life 3.261 days and gallium-68 half-life 67.7 minutes. Isotopes lighter than gallium-69 usually decay through beta plus decay positron emission or electron capture to isotopes of zinc, although the lightest few with mass numbers 56 through 59 decay through prompt proton emission. Isotopes heavier than gallium-71 decay through beta minus decay electron emission, possibly with delayed neutron emission, to isotopes of germanium, while gallium-70 can decay through both beta minus decay and electron capture. Gallium-67 is unique among the light isotopes in having only electron capture as a decay mode, as its decay energy is not sufficient to allow positron emission. <laughs> <laughs> Chemical properties Gallium is found primarily in the plus-3 oxidation state. The plus 1 oxidation state is also found in some compounds, although it is less common than it is for gallium's heavier congeners indium and thallium. For example, the very stable gallium 2 chloride contains both gallium I and gallium 3 and can be formulated as gagaiacal 4. In contrast, the monochloride is unstable above 0 degrees Celsius, disproportionating into elemental gallium and gallium 3 chloride. Compounds containing Ga-Ga bonds are true gallium compounds, such as gas which can be formulated as Ga24 plus S2 2 and the dioxin complex gallium 2 chloride C4 H8 Topic: <laughs> Aqueous chemistry Strong acids dissolve gallium, forming gallium salts such as gallium 3 sulfate, gallium sulfate, and gallium 3 nitrate, gallium nitrate. Aqueous solutions of gallium salts contain the hydrated gallium ion, Ga 6 3. 
Gallium hydroxide, gallium-3 hydroxide, may be precipitated from gallium solutions by adding ammonia. Dehydrating gallium-3 hydroxide at 100 degrees Celsius produces gallium oxide hydroxide, GaO. -O. Alkaline hydroxide solutions dissolve gallium, forming gallate salts, not to be confused with identically named gallic acid salts, containing the gallium-1 hydroxide minus 4 anion. Gallium hydroxide, which is amphoteric, also dissolves in alkali to form gallate salts. Although earlier work suggested gallium-3 hydroxide-6 as another possible gallate anion, it was not found in later work. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Oxides and chalcogenides. Gallium reacts with the chalcogens only at relatively high temperatures. At room temperature, gallium metal is not reactive with air and water because it forms a passive protective oxide layer. At higher temperatures, however, it reacts with atmospheric oxygen to form gallium oxide, gallium-3 oxide. Reducing gallium-3 oxide with elemental gallium in vacuum at 500 degrees Celsius to 700 degrees Celsius yields the dark brown gallium oxide. Is a very strong reducing agent, capable of reducing H2SO4 to H2S. It disproportionates at 800 degrees Celsius back to gallium and gallium-3 oxide, gallium-3 sulfide, gallium-3 sulfide, has three possible crystal modifications. It can be made by the reaction of gallium with hydrogen sulfide H2S at 950 degrees Celsius. Alternatively, gallium-3 hydroxide can be used at 747 degrees Celsius. 2 gallium 3 hydroxide plus 3 H2S gallium 3 sulfide plus 6 H2 or reacting a mixture of alkali metal carbonates and gallium 3 oxide with H2S leads to the formation of thiogallates containing the gallium 4 sulfide 2 minus anion. Strong acids decompose these salts, releasing H2S in the process. The mercury salt, HgGa2S4, can be used as a phosphor. Gallium also forms sulfides in lower oxidation states, such as gallium sulfide and the green gallium sulfide, the latter of which is produced from the former by heating to 1000 degrees Celsius under a stream of nitrogen. The other binary chalcogenides, gallium 3 selenide and gallium 3 telluride, have the zinc blende structure. They are all semiconductors but are easily hydrolyzed and have limited utility. Nitrides and nictides Gallium reacts with ammonia at 1050 degrees Celsius to form gallium nitride, GaN. Gallium also forms binary compounds with phosphorus, arsenic, and antimony, gallium phosphide GAP, gallium arsenide, gallium arsenide and gallium antimonide, gallium -antimonide. These compounds have the same structure as ZNS, and have important semiconducting properties. GAP, gallium-3 arsenide, and gallium-3 antimonide can be synthesized by the direct reaction of gallium with elemental phosphorus, arsenic, or antimony. They exhibit higher electrical conductivity than GaN. GAP can also be synthesized by reacting with phosphorus at low temperatures. Gallium forms ternary nitrides, for example, Li-3 Ga plus N2 Li-3 Gallium-6 Nitride Similar compounds with phosphorus and arsenic are possible, Li-3 Gallium-6 Phosphide and Li-3 Gallium-6 Arsenide. These compounds are easily hydrolyzed by dilute acids and water. <laughs> Halides Gallium oxide reacts with fluorinating agents such as HF or F2 to form gallium fluoride, gallium-3 fluoride. It is an ionic compound strongly insoluble in water. However, it dissolves in hydrofluoric acid, in which it forms an adduct with water, gallium-3 fluoride 3H2O. Attempting to dehydrate this adduct forms gallium-2 fluoride ONH2O. The adduct reacts with ammonia to form gallium-3 fluoride 3NH3, which can then be heated to form anhydrous gallium-3 fluoride. Gallium trichloride is formed by the reaction of gallium metal with chlorine gas. Unlike the trifluoride, gallium-3 chloride exists as dimeric molecules, gallium-3 chloride, with a melting point of 78 degrees Celsius. 
Equivalent compounds are formed with bromine and iodine, gallium 3 bromide and gallium 3 iodide. Like the other group 13 trihalides, gallium 3 halides are Lewis acids, reacting as halide acceptors with alkali metal halides to form salts containing GAX 4 anions, where X is a halogen. They also react with alkyl halides to form carbocations and GAX-4. When heated to a high temperature, gallium halides react with elemental gallium to form the respective gallium halides. For example, gallium-3 chloride reacts with Ga to form gallium-1 chloride. 2 Ga plus gallium-3 chloride 3 gallium-1 chloride G at lower temperatures, the equilibrium shifts toward the left and gallium-1 chloride disproportionates back to elemental gallium and gallium-3 chloride. Gallium-1 chloride can also be produced by reacting Ga with HCl at 950 degrees Celsius. The product can be condensed as a red solid. Gallium I compounds can be stabilized by forming adducts with Lewis acids. For example, gallium-1 chloride plus aluminium chloride Ga plus aluminium chloride minus the so-called gallium-2 halides. GAX-2, are actually adducts of gallium I halides with the respective gallium three halides, having the structure Ga plus GAX-4 minus. For example, gallium-1 chloride plus gallium-3 chloride Ga plus gallium-4 chloride minus. <laughs> Hydrides Like aluminium, gallium also forms a hydride, gallium 3 hydride, known as gallon, which may be produced by reacting lithium gallinate with gallium chloride at 30 degrees Celsius. 3 Liga 4 plus gallium 3 chloride 3 lithium chloride plus 4 gallium 3 hydride in the presence of dimethyl ether as solvent, gallium 3 hydride polymerizes to gallium 3 hydride N. If no solvent is used, the dimer gallium-3 hydride is formed as a gas. Its structure is similar to diborane, having two hydrogen atoms bridging the two gallium centers, unlike alpha-aluminium hydride in which aluminium has a coordination number of 6, gallon is unstable above minus 10 degrees Celsius, decomposing to elemental gallium and hydrogen. Organogallium compounds. Organogallium compounds are of similar reactivity to organoindium compounds, less reactive than organoaluminium compounds, but more reactive than organothallium compounds. Alkylgalliums are monomeric. Lewis acidity decreases in the order Al, Ga, In and as a result organogallium compounds do not form bridged dimers as organoaluminum compounds do. Organogallium compounds are also less reactive than organoaluminum compounds. They do form stable peroxides. These alkylgalliums are liquids at room temperature, having low melting points, and are quite mobile and flammable. Triphenylgallium is monomeric in solution, but its crystals form chain structures due to weak intermolecular Ga C interactions. Gallium trichloride is a common starting reagent for the formation of organogallium compounds, such as in carbogallation reactions. Gallium trichloride reacts with lithium cyclopentadienide in diethyl ether to form the trigonal planar gallium cyclopentadienyl complex GACP3. Gallium I forms complexes with arene ligands such as hexamethylbenzene. Because this ligand is quite bulky, the structure of the Ga A to 6 C6 Me6 plus is that of a half sandwich. Less bulky ligands such as mesitylene allow two ligands to be attached to the central gallium atom in a bent sandwich structure. Benzene is even less bulky and allows the formation of dimers. An example is Ga 6 c 6 h 6 2 gallium 4 chloride 3 c 6 h 6 Topic: History In 1871, the existence of gallium was first predicted by Russian chemist Dmitry Mendeleev, who named it Aka aluminium from its position in his periodic table. He also predicted several properties of Aka aluminium that correspond closely to the real properties of gallium, such as its density, melting point, oxide character and bonding in chloride. Mendeleev further predicted that Aka aluminium would be discovered by means of the spectroscope, and that metallic Aka aluminium would dissolve slowly in both acids and alkalis and would not react with air. 
He also predicted that M2O3 would dissolve in acids to give MX3 salts, that aca aluminium salts would form basic salts, that aca aluminium sulfate should form alums, and that anhydrous MCL3 should have a greater volatility than zinc chloride. All of these predictions turned out to be true. Gallium was discovered using spectroscopy by French chemist Paul Emile Lecoq de Boisbaudrin in 1875 from its characteristic spectrum two violet lines in a sample of sphalerite. Later that year, Lecoq obtained the free metal by electrolysis of the hydroxide in potassium hydroxide solution. He named the element Gallia, from Latin Gallia meaning Gaul, after his native land of France. It was later claimed that, in one of those multilingual puns so beloved by men of science in the 19th century, he had also named Gallium after himself. Le Coq is French for the rooster, and the Latin word for rooster is gallus. In an 1877 article, Lecoq denied this conjecture. Originally, de Boisbaudrin determined the density of gallium as 4.7 g per cc, the only property that failed to match Mendeleev's predictions. Mendeleev then wrote to him and suggested that he should remeasure the density, and de Boisbaudrin then obtained the correct value of 5.9 g per cc, that Mendeleev had predicted almost exactly. From its discovery in 1875 until the era of semiconductors, the primary uses of gallium were high temperature thermometrics and metal alloys with unusual properties of stability or ease of melting some such being liquid at room temperature. The development of gallium arsenide as a direct band gap semiconductor in the 1960s ushered in the most important stage in the applications of gallium. <laughs> <laughs> Occurrence Gallium does not exist as a free element in the Earth's crust, and the few high-content minerals, such as gallite are too rare to serve as a primary source. The abundance in the Earth's crust is approximately 16.9 ppm. This is comparable to the crustal abundances of lead, cobalt and niobium. Yet unlike these elements, gallium does not form its own ore deposits with concentrations of greater than 0.1 Wt, percent in ore. Rather it occurs at trace concentrations similar to the crustal value in zinc ores, and at somewhat higher values approximately 50 ppm in aluminium ores, from both of which it is extracted as a byproduct. This lack of independent deposits is due to gallium's geochemical behavior, showing no strong enrichment in the processes relevant to the formation of most ore deposits. The United States Geological Survey (USGS) estimates that more than 1 million ton of gallium is contained in known reserves of bauxite and zinc ores. Some coal flue dusts contain small quantities of gallium, typically less than 1% by weight. However, these amounts are not extractable without mining of the host materials. See below. Thus, the availability of gallium is fundamentally determined by the rate at which bauxite, zinc ores, and coal are extracted. Topic: <laughs> Production and availability. Gallium is produced exclusively as a byproduct during the processing of the ores of other metals. Its main source material is bauxite, the chief ore of aluminium, but minor amounts are also extracted from sulfidic zinc ores sphalerite being the main host mineral. In the past, certain coals were an important source. During the processing of bauxite to alumina in the bare process, gallium accumulates in the sodium hydroxide liquor. From this it can be extracted by a variety of methods. The most recent is the use of ion exchange resin. Achievable extraction efficiencies critically depend on the original concentration in the feed bauxite. At a typical feed concentration of 50 ppm, about 15% of the contained gallium is extractable. The remainder reports to the red mud and aluminium hydroxide streams. Gallium is removed from the ion exchange resin in solution. Electrolysis then gives gallium metal. For semiconductor use, it is further purified with zone melting or single crystal extraction from a melt Zakralski process. Purities of 99.9999% are routinely achieved and commercially available. Its byproduct status means that gallium production is constrained by the amount of bauxite, sulfidic zinc ores and coal extracted per year. Therefore, its availability needs to be discussed in terms of supply potential. The supply potential of a byproduct is defined as that amount which is economically extractable from its host materials per year under current market conditions, i.e., technology and price. 
Reserves and resources are not relevant for by-products, since they cannot be extracted independently from the main products. Recent estimates put the supply potential of gallium at a minimum of 2,100 T per year from bauxite, 85 T per year from sulfidic zinc ores, and potentially 590 T per year from coal. These figures are significantly greater than current production 375 T in 2016. Thus, major future increases in the byproduct production of gallium will be possible without significant increases in production costs or price. The average gallium price in 2015 was $317 per kilogram, down from $688 per kilogram in 2011. Topic: <laughs> Applications. Semiconductor applications dominate the commercial demand for gallium, accounting for 98% of the total. The next major application is for gadolinium gallium garnets. Topic. Semiconductors Extremely high purity greater than gallium is commercially available to serve the semiconductor industry. Gallium arsenide, gallium arsenide and gallium nitride used in electronic components represented about 98% of the gallium consumption in the United States in 2007. About 66% of semiconductor gallium is used in the U.S. in integrated circuits mostly gallium arsenide, such as the manufacture of ultra-high-speed logic chips and MESFETs for low-noise microwave preamplifiers in cell phones. About 20% of this gallium is used in optoelectronics. Worldwide, gallium arsenide makes up 95% of the annual global gallium consumption. Gallium arsenide is used in a variety of optoelectric infrared devices. Aluminium gallium arsenide algas is used in high-power infrared laser diodes. The semiconductors gallium nitride and indium gallium nitride are used in blue and violet optoelectric devices, mostly laser diodes and light-emitting diodes. For example, gallium nitride 405 nanometers diode lasers are used as a violet light source for higher density Blu-ray disc compact data disc drives. Multijunction photovoltaic cells, developed for satellite power applications, are made by molecular beam epitaxy or metal organic vapor phase epitaxy of thin films of gallium arsenide, indium gallium phosphide, or indium gallium arsenide. The Mars exploration rovers and several satellites use triple junction gallium arsenide on germanium cells. Gallium is also a component in photovoltaic compounds such as copper indium gallium selenium sulfide Cu in Ga Se S2 used in solar panels as a cost-efficient alternative to crystalline silicon. Topic: <laughs> Galinstan and other alloys. Gallium readily alloys with most metals, and is used as an ingredient in low-melting alloys. The nearly eutectic alloy of gallium, indium, and tin is a room-temperature liquid used in medical thermometers. This alloy, with the trade name gallinstan with the stan referring to the tin, stanum in Latin, has a low freezing point of minus 19 degrees Celsius minus 2.2 degrees Fahrenheit. It has been suggested that this family of alloys could also be used to cool computer chips in place of water. Gallium alloys have been evaluated as substitutes for mercury dental amalgams, but these materials have yet to see wide acceptance. Because gallium wets glass or porcelain, gallium can be used to create brilliant mirrors. When the wetting action of gallium alloys is not desired, as in gallinstan glass thermometers, the glass must be protected with a transparent layer of gallium oxide. The plutonium used in nuclear weapon pits is stabilized in the delta phase and made machinable by alloying with gallium. Topic: <inaudible> Biomedical applications. Although gallium has no natural function in biology, gallium ions interact with processes in the body in a manner similar to iron Because these processes include inflammation, a marker for many disease states, several gallium salts are used or are in development as pharmaceuticals and radiopharmaceuticals in medicine. Interest in the anti-cancer properties of gallium emerged when it was discovered that 67 Ga citrate injected in tumor-bearing animals localized to sites of tumor. 
Clinical trials have shown gallium nitrate to have antineoplastic activity against non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and urothelial cancers. A new generation of gallium ligand complexes such as tris gallium -KP46 and gallium maltolate has emerged. Gallium nitrate brand name Ganite has been used as an intravenous pharmaceutical to treat hypercalcemia associated with tumor metastasis to bones. Gallium is thought to interfere with osteoclast function, and the therapy may be effective when other treatments have failed. Gallium maltolate, an oral, highly absorbable form of gallium ion, is an anti-proliferative to pathologically proliferating cells, particularly cancer cells and some bacteria that accept it in place of ferric iron Researchers are conducting clinical and preclinical trials on this compound as a potential treatment for a number of cancers, infectious diseases, and inflammatory diseases. When gallium ions are mistakenly taken up in place of iron by bacteria such as Pseudomonas, the ions interfere with respiration, and the bacteria die. This happens because iron is redox active, allowing the transfer of electrons during respiration, while gallium is redox inactive. A complex amine phenol GA compound MRO45 is selectively toxic to parasites resistant to chloroquine, a common drug against malaria. Both the GA complex and chloroquine act by inhibiting crystallization of hemozoan, a disposal product formed from the digestion of blood by the parasites. Topic: Radiogallium salts. Gallium-67 salts such as gallium citrate and gallium nitrate are used as radiopharmaceutical agents in the nuclear medicine imaging known as gallium scan. The radioactive isotope 67 Ga is used, and the compound or salt of gallium is unimportant. The body handles Ga3+ in many ways as though it were Fe3+ and the ion is bound and concentrates in areas of inflammation such as infection and in areas of rapid cell division. This allows such sites to be imaged by nuclear scan techniques. Gallium 68, a positron emitter with a half-life of 68 minutes, is now used as a diagnostic radionuclide in PET CT when linked to pharmaceutical preparations such as DOTATOC, a somatostatin analog used for neuroendocrine tumors investigation, and DOTA TATE, a newer one, used for neuroendocrine metastasis and lung neuroendocrine cancer, such as certain types of microcytoma. Gallium 68's a preparation as a pharmaceutical is chemical, and the radionuclide is extracted by elution from germanium 68, a synthetic radioisotope of germanium, in gallium 68 generators. Other uses Gallium is used for neutrino detection. Possibly the largest amount of pure gallium ever collected in a single spot is the Gallium Germanium Neutrino Telescope used by the SAGE experiment at the Baxan Neutrino Observatory in Russia. This detector contains 55 to 57 tons, approximately 9 cubic meters of liquid gallium. Another experiment was the GALLEX neutrino detector operated in the early 1990s in an Italian mountain tunnel. The detector contained 12.2 tons of watered gallium-71. Solar neutrinos caused a few atoms of 71 Ga to become radioactive 71 J, which were detected. This experiment showed that the solar neutrino flux is 40% less than theory predicted. This deficit was not explained until better solar neutrino detectors and theories were constructed See snow. .Gallium is also used as a liquid metal ion source for a focused ion beam. For example, a focused gallium ion beam was used to create the world's smallest book, Teeny Ted from Turnip Town. Another use of gallium is as an additive in glide wax for skis, and other low friction surface materials. A well known practical joke among chemists is to fashion gallium spoons and use them to serve tea to unsuspecting guests, since gallium has a similar appearance to its lighter homologue aluminium. The spoons then melt in the hot tea. Precautions Metallic gallium is not toxic. However, exposure to gallium halide complexes can result in acute toxicity. The Ga3 plus ion of soluble gallium salts tends to form the insoluble hydroxide when injected in large doses. Precipitation of this hydroxide resulted in renal toxicity in animals. 
In lower doses, soluble gallium is tolerated well and does not accumulate as a poison, instead being excreted mostly through urine. Excretion of gallium occurs in two phases, the first phase has a biological half-life of one hour, while the second has a biological half-life of 25 hours. <laughs> See also